I know you're doing a lot of stuff on Google advertising. Yep. Using Google advertising. Uh huh. And I'm not doing anything on Google, just mostly uh, Amazon PPC and some Facebook. So give us a few tips about how useful do you think Google can be to, uh, I'm not sure, to replace PPC or to increment sure. PPC. Yeah. And how All right. So I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do some self-plugging, which I'm going to try to, to keep at a minimum uh, on this, on this uh, coaching roundtable. Um, so Seller SEO has a tool called Traffic Titan and it's kind of, um, it, it was actually came about kind of by accident. It was kind of like, I was like, man, I got so tired of going into Google and, and creating all these ads and it took so long and I was just like, this is ridiculous. So initially I actually built that tool for myself. Actually the pretty much the entire Seller SEO suite I built for myself because I was getting so frustrated with the current tools that were out there. It just wouldn't do what I needed them to do. Um, you know, there's, you know, there's a new Amazon tool every day. So you know, it, it's, it's hard to sift through it, but with our tool, like the main thing I wanted to, to, to build was something that was like super easy to use, but really powerful. So it's like, if you're a beginner, it works really well. If you're advanced, it works really well just because it saves so much time and it kind of gives you the expertise that, you know, people like me who have been selling on Amazon for a long time. It's kind of baked in. All right. Anyway, enough with the sales thing. But so what, what traffic Titan does is <clears throat> it builds campaigns that's tar that target keywords uh, using two-step URLs. There's different types of two-step URLs. Um, in, in a future, um, you know, coaching session, we'll, we'll maybe go over like really specific on, on all the different uh, two-step URLs and, and what they're good for and which ones to use and things like that. Um, but the reason why, number one, everybody's like, when you go to any Amazon, um, you know, training or forums or Facebook groups, all they're talking about is Facebook ads. Everyone's just like, Oh my God, Facebook, you have to use Facebook. You have to use Manny chat. You have to do all this. Go ahead and do it. We tested it thoroughly. And the return on investment is not just not there. You're just going to piss money away. <laughs> you're you're, you're going to need Amy's, uh, Amy, Amy's uh, scooper solution to, to scoop out the scoop out all the, 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 the poopy results you're going to get from, uh, from, from the, from the uh, spend you're going to do on Facebook. So, uh, uh, Google is, is underutilized. It's so it's kind of, you know, people use, that's all you people used to use Then people kind of got to the point where Facebook is now where it's just, it got super expensive. So people jumped off of Google and went to Facebook. Now it's the other way. Now everybody's using Facebook and nobody's using Google. So, I mean, for example, I'm getting uh, just, just for example, on this best selling product that I love to talk about because it makes us, you know, it's, I love it because it's like my wife and I are like, you know, 70% of our, our business comes, you know, in the last like four months, um, from, especially from this one product. So it's insane. Um, but the reason I like to talk about it so much is I'm paying one penny per click to the product right now from Google one penny. Um, every day I'm getting about 3000 clicks, um, to, to that listing. And it's, Does the, they're going to your listing. Correct. To a two-step URL. So that's just to give you, give you an example. So do you see this in sessions in Amazon? Uh, what do you, uh, you do not see. That's the beauty of a two-step URL. That's why people use two-step URL. A lot of mistake, the biggest mistake that people make with those two-step URLs or with URLs is they send people directly to their product listing. And that's where your sessions get screwed. If you get 3000 people going to your listing and not buying that, then your sessions are screwed. If they're going to a search page that has your product, if they're not interested, they're just going to click away from that page. They're not going to actually go and view the product. If they do go and view the product, um, there's at least some intent there. So they're more likely to convert. In our case, we've tested this over and over again. There's, there, there's only benefits for sending traffic to the, to the listing using two-step URLs. Okay. So you're getting thousands of clicks, one penny clicks using the, uh, yep. And your, your, um, Google ads are for the, the, the equivalent keywords that you are targeting on PPC or? So right now on, on, on that product I'm targeting because I've already ranked for so many keywords cause I was, you know, I started kind of with a wide net and then I started to see what I ranked for and then I started to see volume and then I started to see, um, you know, what was working uh, ranking wise and then I doubled down on those keywords. So then I went from like, I think I started with about 12 keywords. Now I'm down to, uh, I went down to 10 and now I'm down to eight. So I'm just focusing, 
um, on those those eight key or uh, phrases, not keywords, phrases. I never target a single keyword; it won't do anything for you. So phrased. So, mm -hmm. um, so yeah. So targeting those phrases now, we're we're, we're getting. Like I said, I should look at my ads yesterday. I think it was like thirty five hundred clicks um, to to that product. And like I said, we're ranked anywhere between the first result to the fourth result for one of the most sought after uh, phrases for Christmas time. And Andy, if I can just put this plug in here, I use, I started with Andy's Titan tool. I was one of the first users of it and it's tripled my sales and I was able to completely stop my Amazon PPC. Now I just use cover all campaigns. And not only that, but I am a, in a coach, right? A consultant and I've helped several people launch and we use the Google ads um, campaigns and they have seen incredible results that their competitors are not seeing. And the reason is because their competitors aren't on Google. Yep. It's so cheap. My average cost per click is 11 cents. Try that on Amazon. You're not yep. going to get there. Yep. So what that allows you to do is grow your audience and grow your ranking and your BSR through Google ads. But then what it allows you to do is really focus your Amazon PPC on those razor sharp keywords, long tail keywords that you know are going to convert. Yep. for that cheaper amount, right? Versus spending so much in auto campaigns and everything like that. Now, of course, auto campaigns and things like that are important when you're launching, but after that, you need to back off so you can start making some money, right? And Google Ads is the perfect way to do that. Okay, thank you. Great to talk to you in person. This is a, this is a really awesome format. I'm enjoying this. Because um, I've chatted with many of you guys, you know, over like Facebook Messenger, or email, things like that. Um, this is much more personable, so I, I'm uh, definitely enjoying this format a lot. When, I, I know your intent isn't to do, you know, to, to do expose on the uh, the Titan, but I had not done, you know, I did AdWords 100 years ago and had not done it a long time, and so I've been I put a bunch of Titan um, campaigns in, and honestly, Google just started driving me nuts with all the suggestions and. It, it turned out to be a lot of maintenance after the fact. Is there a good tool for managing that or a, a, any secrets for? So what, what, what do you mean by suggestions after the fact? Like, like they're, they're giving you like notifications or something or? Yeah. They're saying, uh, you know, here's, you know, 25 other words, great words to use and, you know, considered, you know, turning these into a separate campaign and blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I, just, you, I didn't want to do that much maintenance. No, you, you don't have to. And, the, and, and Google will do those kinds of things all day long. It's just like, you know, on Facebook when they, when you post something in, like if you have a, a Facebook page where it's like, Hey, you could boost this post for, you know, $10 and 30,000 more people. The, the BS that <laughs> Facebook says, which is never nearly the amount of people that'll actually see it. Um, they're, they're just, just trying to help you spend your money. They're exactly. They're just trying to get you to spend more. You don't, Right. I mean, there is some maintenance you can do. So here, here's the few things that you might have to do after the fact. Uh, one of the things you might have to do is, is change your bids. If you're going, if you're burning through your budget super early in the day, all you need to do is reduce your bids. Uh, in Google, you, you can, you know, use the select all button. You go to edit and you can, you can bulk change all the bids at one time, or you can just change the campaign bid uh, or I mean the ad group bid and that'll change all the, the, the keywords. Now what you wanna look for is the performing keywords, the ones that you're getting the most clicks for the cheapest price. Um, if those are, uh, the click-through rates fairly well, or, or fairly good, um, and then you know, you're getting a lot of clicks through that, then you know, that's when you might wanna look at getting rid of um, some of the keywords. I would not add keywords um, unless, it's, you know, they're, unless those keywords are really, really relevant. In the case of Titan and the Google Ads, you don't want some super fringe stuff that's not super relevant to your product um, because that will, um, that will make, um, you know, that, that won't get you uh, the kind of conversions that you want. You know, if you're, if you're throwing up uh, the keywords in, in Google that are like not, you know, are, are like single words or things like that, they're probably not, not going to get you much. So you want right. to, you want to try to stick with the, the stuff that's relevant. That's giving you a lot of clicks, get rid of the stuff that's, you know, not performing or that's not super relevant. Um, and then, um, just like on Amazon, what I tell people is if your, if your budget's being blown early in the day, reduce bids, raise, um, your, your campaign spend, you do those simultaneously. And that way you get more clicks for less money. So make that last statement again. You want to, so if you're budgeting out, it's just like on Amazon PVC. So like if you wake up at, at 10 AM, um, hopefully, well, 10 AM, if you log <laughs> in Amazon at 10 AM, if you're sleeping into the 10 AM, God bless you. 
I wish I could do that. My, my kids have me up at 6 a.m. these days, 5.30, you know. Woo. Um, anyway, <laughs> whenever, whenever you're logging into your, your Amazon account, you know, say it's like at 10 a.m. and you've seen that your budget's, you know, spent, um, then that's where you want to reduce your, 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 your click bid. So in other words, you want to lower your bids on your, on your keywords and then raise your budget. So does that make sense? So that means that you're going to get more clicks for less money because you're going to increase the budget and lower the clicks. And then you want to keep doing that process over and over again until you've maxed out your budget, meaning that your budget never gets spent. Um, it looks like somebody, we have a, we have a late attendee. Welcome. Welcome. <laughs> I'm going to post, I recorded this. So hopefully I can figure out how to, how to uh, repost it on, on Facebook and, and, uh, and uh, YouTube after this, so people who joined us later or didn't join us can watch it. But anyway, um, you want to you want to max out your budget. You want to get to the point where you're never ever running out of budget. And how you do that is by reducing bid, raising budget. Does that make sense? Yep. Thanks. Of course, my pleasure. The other cool thing about Google Ads is that you can really you can have like a five dollar budget a day, and it goes so far because the clicks are so cheap. So that's that's just incredible. When I see like my Amazon campaigns are running out, you know, at, at twenty dollars a day they're running out, and you know, and you got to do so much optimization, and, and that Google optimization is fairly easy. Yeah, uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't necessarily recommend turning PVC off. I, I wouldn't like use this as a replacement. In Amy's case, it, it, well, I shouldn't say that. It depends on your niche. If your PVC on Amazon is super expensive, like five dollars a click or something like that, I wouldn't even bother. Um, but if your if your PVC costs are relatively, you know, if you're getting a, a decent A cost, um, then you know just reduce your bids. You know, get get to the point where you you have your PVC on, but you're maybe you're getting like a five percent or ten percent A cost. Which, P.S. Um, if you guys haven't tried the new product targeting, um, it, it takes a lot of time to sift through the products that are converting. But jump on that right now. I've been getting like crazy, like 5%, 2%. I mean, I actually had a, like, I think the lowest take cost I've ever seen was like, it was like 1.2% on product. I got a 1.4 today. I yeah. was like, yes! yeah. So all you, I mean, it takes, the problem is it's going to take a while to sift through. So if you start them now, it might take you three or four or five days to get the, the initial data to start reducing bids on ones that aren't converting, raising bids on ones that are converting. But jump into that. If you haven't created a product, um, uh, a product uh, campaign yet on, on PPC on Amazon do that immediately um, because the the the, uh, the return on investment the a cost is like crazy right now the other thing with with my PPC I still run PPC I just do more of the lower bid like cover all campaigns right yep. and then of yep. course I just did the product targeting and I loved the results of that um, and of course, I still always do PPC launch, everything like that. This is more for like long term strategy, for you know, sure. like right, way back off of it. But yep. I also definitely recommend you you fully optimize your your Amazon PPC. I just see a lot of people spending a lot of money and not making any money over the long run. Yeah, the so, Facebook groups with 180 percent ACOS. <sighs> yeah, I know those are rough. And the thing is, is when you're launching, it, so there's two different um, like people don't really get this, but there's so there's two kind of ways to look at ACOS and your return on investment on PVC. One is when you're first launching, you might have 180, 130% ACoS because there's that, that settling in period where you need to, to learn what works. It's just like any bad platform. But once you start, you know, once, once you're within like a week or two, that's when you start needing, you know, start, you, you need to start turning dials. Um, if you're a seller SEO user, we've got a couple of tools that help you optimize automatically um, and build campaigns too. Um, but if you don't want to do that, then, you know, then you're going to have to teach yourself how to go in and optimize and reduce bids and raise bids and uh and those kinds of things i'm gonna ask one more on the uh the google ads are you getting those uh, cheap traffic from the long tails or because you know i, I put in everything it recommended um and you know i was getting you know, i was actually getting some expensive good expensive traffic but it was there was a lot of long tail cheap traffic well yeah so you need to test so like like in amy's case since she has a, a cat product it, I, the the keyword broad keyword cat on Google is would actually probably work pretty well because it's a cat related product. So it depends on your product and your and your niche. So um, I, I shouldn't say never use a single uh, uh, word keyword. I guess that's not great advice. Definitely use a single keyword if um, it's it's you know pretty relevant. But test it. You know like um, if it's a if it's a single word and it's getting tons of traffic and it's super cheap then definitely why not use it, you know, test it, see what happens. Um, you know, you're getting, you're getting more and more traffic to your listing. That's never a bad thing. As long as you're using two step, of course. <laughs>